Hi guys, welcome to designing test automation from scratch. So as a part of this series, we are looking at Git, a distributed version control system. And our main agenda of this discussion was a practical, practically working with Git. So we have covered up two topics, that is a Git everyday commands in practical practice and Git branching and merging in practice. Now let's see how to practically work with collaboration and synchronization as a part of this video. First, let's see how to con uh, how to configure the remote repository configurations. That is configuring the switch and pull configurations. So let's navigate to Eclipse and then let's close everything. Let's open the gate view. And in here, let's try to. So, this is the local branch and the remote tracking branch. So, local branch, as we already discussed, local branch, the difference between local branch and the remote, in, uh, remote tracking branch is that local branch is used for tracking the changes from our working directory to the local Git repository. That is the main purpose of local branches. So, the remote tracking branches are used for tracking the changes that is pushing or pulling the changes from central repository github to our local git repository so let's configure the push and pull configurations so the remotes need to configure create remote we are configuring the push Configure the push we need to forward the URL over here. So, for this, first we need to create GitHub GitHub account and then we need to configure the GitHub account over here. So, let's navigate to the GitHub main page and this is the place where you are going to create a GitHub account. Forward the details and create sign up. So, since I was already having an account, I'll be signing up. I will not be signing up, but I will be signing in. So this is the account I already have. So let me uh, create a new repository. So for creating a new repository, over here you have repositories. This is the existing repositories which I have. And now create a new repository. So repository name. Good practical system repository name. And we are giving description for the so and then if you want to give any information with the readme file, you can give it. Then we slice array readme file with it and then let's create repository so our new central repository was created and this is repository name this is the repository url you can also use ssh configuration so while you use ssh configuration if you click over here this will be the url so currently we will be using https configuration so this is our url so this url we need to point out or we need to configure in the remote branch. So change it and then paste over here. So git practical session, GitHub, and then username and password authentication should be called over here and click on finish. So you can see we are configuring push. So configure push for remote origin. In order to use remote origin for push, you must specify at least one URI and at least one reference mapping. So we need to add reference mapping. Head branch. Local branch is pointing with the head 
and remote branch so we have seen uh, we have configured the URI it is one URI we need to configure that we have configured and now we are looking at how to add that reference mapping so in order to add the reference mapping we can click on advanced and then add all branch specification click the box and then click on finish click on finish and then click on save So our remote tracking branch per push has been configured. Remote tracking branch for both push and pull have been configured now. So you can see I click over here and configure fetch. If you want to configure a different order, and this is the configuring push. If you click over here, you can see. This is what was configured, and if you right click over here, you can see the configurations have been made. So you can click on advanced and then add all branch specifications. Click on finish. Save. You can see what are the configurations that have configured. Remote option. Click on finish. And then save. So we have configured the push and pull configuration for remote origin. So once this is completed, now we can push and make pull. So now have we do Java perspective. First let's push the complete changes to the central repository. So push to upstream or you want to get the things from upstream. So I want you to push the changes to upstream. So the pushing the changes to the upstream have been completed. So only the non fast forwarded branches. So you can see over here there is some information that is given push to branching, merging, origin it was rejected because it was not a fast forward branch but branch B2 was pushed Hello, non. If you click on this, it what happens is that we are allowing non fast forward update. Save and now let's try out once again. Team push to upstream. So it is in progress, 24% completed. So you can see now the branches have been. Push to option. So we can navigate over here, this particular project, and then to push. If you 
see five commits and two branches master branch and branch p2 so this is the default branch and this is one more branch this is the one with the four project and this is all branches that are available so two branches one of the changes in branch two in project one you can see we have three commits made The first is liberated commit and branch B1 and branch B2 commit. So let's get into the project project and see the information that has been saved. So you can see the changes that have been made C3 and C4. These are the commits, these are the changes that we have done in the last commit. So let's modify some things in this file and then try to pull it back. So click on edit this file. So we have changed it and now if you want to save it, we can save it or else you can commit it over here itself. Provide the comment description. Commit message. Update it. Sample one. So if you want to create a new branch and if you want to commit or you want to directly commit to the master. So we will be committing it to the master once directly. Commit the changes. So these changes have been now committed. So now if you navigate to our particular process directory and then let's navigate to the git view. So let's see the latest commit over here. Two grams, six commits. And the latest commit, the mid table. This is commit. So C A9. This is commit ID. So now, so let's see how to create a new changes from GitHub and commit those changes by creating a pull request and then it is being reviewed and uh, accepting the merge and once the merge has been done, we can delete all the branch. So let's see how to create. Automate some changes. Let's click on edit. or you can create a new branch you can give something this particular name branch 2 and propose file chain and if there is some reviewer we will 
will be notified if you have reviewer set, set up you can select the particular reviewer over here and you can then it will you can provide some comments and then you can create a new pull request so once the pull request has been assigned so you can see there is any conflict between us it will clearly show up here so there are no conflict much can be performed automatically and the viewer will review whatever the changes you have made when you are getting to this particular file review the changes for the comments thank you the feedback if it is approved click on approve so since i'm not having There are no approvers, it is a reviewer setup, it was not allowing. Also, we click here. And we can merge the pull request. Or if there is any problem, we can click the other merge, we can replace and merge it, or else we can create a merge commit. So we will do merge request. Confirm the merge. The merge has been confirmed and it is completed. Now, since the merge has been completed, the new branch which we have created is of no use, so we can delete it. that is master and branch to there is no new branch but we are deleted so now let's get back to eclipse so this is currently the status of eclipse so the file was like this so press so from synchronization view let's click on pull or else from our perspective itself right click from upstream So we have switched from option to brand master. We are local. So brand master is having the patch one in our local branch. And over here you can see remote tracking branch is having patch two. Since we have used a pitch pitch in soft pull, so the difference is that it was present in pitch repository but not in our local working directory in our local working directory we are having patch 1 in our git repository it was sent to patch 2 so we need to go and update team and then we can use pull or synchronize workspace On synchronize workspace and we can use pull. So we can see the GitHub commit has been in our workspace now. So it was synced. Let's close everything, let's minimize, and let's now get a job perspective. Let's now get to the file and see the changes have been merged. Local. So the changes have been synced to our local repository from GitHub. Remaining.
here you can see not our local button branch and the remote tracking branch what do you think so also we can navigate to history view get history and this is the latest commit this we have done much pull request to so this is all what we'll be doing with git and github this is how we are going to collaborate and synchronize so in collaboration we are going to create a new merge request and then we are going to now uh, create a pull request and then go on to someone and f3 the review and we'll be reviewing the changes and then he will be merging this one and he'll be committing it and post that he'll be deleting the particular branch so we have seen this upgrade that has been done and this particular line has been deleted and then it has been merged to the main branch this has all been done in github committer github these are the local changes which are done and these are the commits that have been done from github you can see it has been updated a new branch has been created the branch has been deleted and merged similarly again we have created one more new branch new pull request new branch on a, a new branch and then we have deleted that new branch and then i'm oh sorry we have merged that branch and then deleted that branch so this has all been done from github you can see the difference Commenter is a GitHub, and here commenter is local user which you have configured in Git, Git config file. So this is all, all the practical sessions that we wanted to work with or discuss on GitHub. So thanks for watching. We have covered up everything from end to end on GitHub, Git and GitHub, how to work with a local Git repository and how to make the synchronization and collaboration between different users and how to synchronize it between local git repository working directory and git the central server thanks guys thanks for watching